Hello! In this video, I am going to show you how to use this template that I made in Cricut to, to create a customized card. So while you have your template out, you're going to see that there are a lot of things on this page that are pink. Anything in pink, those are just set as just a guide and it will not print out. So that's why I set it that way. And you are going to your task is to make a card for somebody who inspires you. So you're going to see down here that I have four different fonts. I chose them for a reason. These are stencil fonts. That means that it's not going to cut out completely the inside letters of any of inside shapes of any of the letters like A and E that are closed shapes. And so you're going to choose a font. I'm going to choose this one. I did some that are curved and some that are straight across, so you can choose what you like. I'm also going to choose the name. I found that sometimes zooming in on the iPad and moving things around is easier, although it doesn't look like it right now, but there we go. Here we go. So I'm going to kind of tentatively put it a little bit Put it where I think that I want it to go. If you tap on it, you can resize it. When you see these little squares, I kind of want to make it not too small and just, just big enough. What I found is that if you don't see those squares in the corner, you're, you need to zoom in just a little bit. And I'm going to put this name right about here. Don't worry about it if it's not exactly in the center. I'm gonna double tap this name. If for some reason you don't see it because the keyboard comes up, you can always move the page by just clicking and dragging your fingers. But if I double tap here, I can put the name of a person. I'm going to make a card for my colleague, Adith because she inspires me in all of the work that we do together. And then I'm gonna choose an image. I put a bunch of images. If there's something, if there's nothing on here that you like or makes you think of that person and you have a different image in mind, come see me and I can help you find something that would work in a way where some of the important parts aren't gonna end up getting cut off. So you can drag it in there. If you like how it's aligned, you can keep it that way. If it's not perfectly aligned and you want to make it perfectly aligned, what I do is I click and drag my finger to draw a box around the shape. Once all of those things are selected, you can go to tap on edit and then you get a new menu down here. And then once you do that, you can go to align and then I'm going to align center horizontally. And then you'll see that everything just went in and aligned in the center. Now you're going to see that the guides are a black color and the inside is pink, which means it's not going to cut out. So now we need to change the operation. Right now it says that these are multiple operations. So you tap on operation, multiple, I'm going to tap on basic. So now it's going to be cutting. It's going to do a basic cut is what that means. I'm going to tap it one more time, and then I'm going to make sure it's all the same color. It doesn't matter what color you pick. You can go to black. You can, uh, let me just do purple so that I, it's just purple. <clears throat> now it's all the same. Oh, I forgot. I also need to keep that selected because not only does it need to be the same operation, but it needs to be attached together so that it will cut on this on the same mat. So I'm going to find this little paper clip that says attach and then attach it. And now it is ready to cut on the Cricut machine. So at this point, you have your design, bring it to one of the machines and I can help you cut it out. 